Colleen and Jared, she'll be serving three and a half years in prison. Now today she was actually given the opportunity to provide a statement where she said that she's sorry and she didn't mean to hurt anybody. Now, in addition to serving time in prison for aggravated vehicular assault, Smith's license was suspended for 10 years. When I spoke to Davis, he told me that he's happy it's over. This outcome isn't going to change the fact that he lost both of his legs, but he says that he's glad she accepted the fact that what she did was wrong. In May of 2021, Davis got out of his car to give food and a drink to a homeless man on an exit ramp at I-70 and Hamilton Road. That's when Smith, who, according to police, was driving impaired, crashed into him. And that's the moment his life changed forever. It was just a, just a normal day, um, just spending hours with my daughter. When it happened, it was just like family saying it was just unreal getting the call and going through those moments of not knowing what state I was in. So it definitely changed my life forever. And it's, I'm not going to let it hold me back or anything like that. It's just something accept it and move forward. Now, he says that since the crash happened, he has had an amazing support system and he doesn't know where he would be without them. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Jackie Gillis, NBC4. Jackie, thank you. And NBC4's Carrie Charles has been following A.J. Davis's path to recovery since that crash. Just recently, Davis sent us this picture of the prosthetic legs he received that he's now using for physical therapy. Just three days before the crash, Davis scored 29 points in a game for the Columbus Condors. And despite his debilitating injuries, he continues, he says, to move forward, but in a careful and thoughtful way. Here's what he told Carrie last month. It's as simple as one day at a time. Mm -hmm. I don't get too far too ahead of the day that I'm in. Um, I just look at it one second, one minute, one hour, because in the blink of an eye, it could change. Davis's prosthetic legs are undergoing adjustments as he continues his therapy, and we will follow his progress and keep you updated.